Hey guys, welcome back. This is Ajax G here with a new video. So it's back to school time. Yes, I know it's that dreaded time when everyone has to get ready for college and other schooling if you're not in college. Um, but this is gaming back to school. So I'm going to give you some quick tips and some things that you can do to help with gaming while at school. And yes, even at lunch and this town's so terrible. I was going somewhere, but now it's not. Anyways, so, um, boom. One thing I can say is if you guys have a PS4, you can definitely remote play. Yes, it's gonna be it's way better than Xbox. Like Xbox remote play is trash. Like you have to be in the same space or you have to have this extra shit. Like the, you have to have the digital game and be able to play and do all this. Like nobody wants to do all that. But as for PlayStation, this is what you can do to set it up. You would make sure your game console is on rest mode so you'll be able to play from anywhere on the go. Um, you have to make sure you put your power settings and have all three boxes checked for when on rest mode for the internet to be connected uh, all, at all times and for it to be able to update and all that. And you want to go to your settings and add a device manually first. You want to manually set this up. And then, when you're on the go, you can play any game. You can even play games that are in the console, like a disc that is already in the console, you can play from any internet connection. You do not have to be in your own house like the Xbox is. You can play on the go with the Xbox, but there's certain things that you have to do and it's too extensive and nobody wants to do all that. And the good thing about that is that the minimum specs that you need is an i5 processor, a fifth gen. We are at the eighth gen. So for those of you who like to play Fortnite and the specs that is the minimum is on low and it still looks choppy, you can have crisp 1080p gameplay playing from your PlayStation or your laptop. So that's one option. And of course, the next option is the Nintendo Switch. Right now, the Switch is coming out with so many great games. Like this, the rest of this year is going to be awesome for Nintendo. Um, the Nintendo eShop has a whole slew of games that you can play. Right now, there's this game, I believe it's called Hollow Knight. I may be wrong. I'm going to put it on the screen because, of course, I'm always wrong with some type of name or something. Um, but that game is really fun. I've actually just recently downloaded it, and I've been playing it for a little bit. Um, I would have had some gameplay of that. But for some reason, Xbox has had an update, so I'm unable to play and record games streaming from my Nintendo Switch through my Xbox, through my laptop. Like, I was able to stream. That was how I was streaming because I don't have an Elgato and I don't feel like I should buy Elgato. But I think I need to buy one now because of this situation. Um, but yeah, so that is another option for you to go on to play games on the go. Another thing is emulators. So those of you who are like hooked to your phones and they're like stuck to your hand, like there's crazy glue, you can buy emulators of all different types of older consoles and play games. Right now I'm like, I've been playing Nintendo 64 games like crazy because I'm very nostalgic and I'm waiting for the Nintendo 64 classic because I know it's coming out. We all know it's coming out. Like. Come on guys, we all know. Um, but yeah, so those are just some uh, tips for gaming back to school. If you wanna know anything else, if you wanna know some good games to play for cheap from the eShop that is an indie game, please leave in the comment section down below. If you wanna know any the best um, battery banks for the Nintendo Switch, because I know that thing dies so fast, I don't understand. Um, I can give you some best battery banks for that. Um, currently in the last year, there's been a lot of third party, uh, portable docks for the Nintendo switch that have pretty much been killing people's batteries. So, um, Nintendo is starting to license with certain third party, um, portable, uh, docks. So I will do a video of that next. If you guys would like to see something like that. Um, yeah, so if you want to see some backpacks that you can bring, I know I have the Nintendo Switch Elite Player backpack, um, and not everyone likes to carry that around because it kind of, like, has the big Nintendo insignia on it, and it's like, hey, yes, rob me now because I have Switch in this, or possibly a laptop because it is very comfortable to carry something light with you, um, yeah. So, 
thank you guys for watching this is ajax here i'll see you in another video because i definitely missed tuesday's video so i have to re-upload some new stuff all right thank you guys for watching leave a thumbs up if you liked it subs if you loved it ajax out and the good thing about that is that the minimum specs that you need is an i5 processor a fifth gen we are at the eighth gen so for those of you who like to play fortnite and